What's going on, you two? Welcome back. I hope that the new year is finding you kind as we are moving swiftly towards Valentine's Day. However, the good tidings um, may be there's still a lot going on in the world that we need to talk about. Oh, yeah. So thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Gibbs Gibbs, with our co-host, Sly Rye. In the building. And we just wanted really to take the time out to have a conversation. So we talked yesterday about the insurrection and we tried to keep it as black and white as possible with what's going on in the world, right down the middle oh, yeah. with, with, the fact, with the facts of the matter. What's right, what's not right, right is right, wrong is wrong. And oh, yeah. we wanted to, to be decent human beings and, and really what that means. Oh yeah. And so as we talked about this yesterday, um, which, which I appreciate the support and the feedback um, some of you agree, some of you disagree, which is completely fine. Um, but again, we were able to have a dialogue. We were able to have a conversation. That's what's important. After our conversation, we soon learned that in Rochester, New York, mm -hmm. a nine-year-old who was having a mental health crisis, who wanted to um, take her own life and take the life of her mother. So now she's nine years old, she's having a mental breakdown. Um, so her mother calls the police, um, to get some help, to get some yeah. assistance for her child. Yeah. Um, well, it turns out this nine-year-old who was still in her break ran from the police, um, and the police chased her down. I mean, not really a big feat. You know, you got a police officer chasing after a nine-year-old kid. Yeah. I would hope you would catch them. I mean, so they, they catch up to her. Now, what is so disheartening about this tale is the fact that once they subdued, and yes, yes, I said subdued. Yeah. Once they subdued this, this nine-year-old child. As if they needed to do that. They pepper sprayed her. Mm. Because she wouldn't comply. Now, last I knew, children are children. Their minds aren't developed to begin with. You know. Now you're dealing with a child who's having a mental break yep. and you're treating her like a suspect. Yeah. Um, like she, she, she needs help and you're pepper spraying a child. I don't care about your political affiliation. No. I don't care how you lean. I don't, I don't care if you vote blue or red. Wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Wh why, why, why do we insist on traumatizing a generation? so bizarre you know i just don't understand i mean you know like it's it shouldn't i mean if you're a police officer and it takes that much to restrain like a nine-year-old child you probably shouldn't be a, a police officer you know you're, you're not just a simple your, assessment yeah you're not good at your job and you should probably do something else like not working with the public ever fucking again you know what i mean like it's just like wait a minute so you mean you shouldn't pepper spray a nine-year-old i mean are you telling me that you should Guys, we're. <laughs> I mean, I'm, just, I'm, just try, I'm just. I'm just trying to figure out the right thing to do you here. Know what you know? I'm saying it's just like. You know? it's, shouldn't that be just like? I mean, you would think that that would be like a given. You know what I mean? Like we shouldn't even be having this conversation right now about a police officer pepper spraying a nine year old. I mean, it's just. It's just. When I saw that, and the, I couldn't. I could barely watch the video. It was like to personal. I mean, it was just like. I. I just. I, it was hard for me. It was hard to watch. You know, as anything like that is, but it's just like I just I don't know. I don't understand. You know, I just don't understand it. And like we were just talking about with the police unions and the mayor up there, she's like she suspended the officer, but she can she can go no further because the union oh. contracts, and she can take no other action. You know, because of all these police contracts and the police unions, unfortunately, are are are, are corrupt in certain areas. And I mean, as any you know big organization, over time gets that to that point. You know what I mean? And now it's like, but now it's time to to change that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. I mean, but we could, we can, we continuously, continuously say things like not all police officers are bad and they're not true. But when you have a police union where you know, nothing, nothing good is going to happen exactly. when you do report a negative incident. Yeah. Why would you want to even report it? It's, yeah, it, it benefits you nothing. So, so then we get to have other instances exactly. where People are mistreated, you know, yeah. Oh, and yeah. and you wonder why people take to the streets. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know where where so and, and then my question is, what what was that nine year old to you? 
That's... Was she a child? Yeah. Did you see her as a child? Yeah. Or did you see her as something completely different? Yeah. Was she just a suspect? You know, and when you the, when the officers were talking to her, they said, quit acting like a child. And you know what she replied? I am a child. Yeah. Even which, she... which one of them had more common sense <laughs> in that? You know what I mean? Like, like, wait a second. I am a child. So it should, you know. What do you mean? What do you mean you're a child? No, no, no. You're acting like a thug right now. OK, you need to take these handcuffs and get into the backseat of this cruiser so I can haul you downtown. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, like that's that's. Yeah. Did you ever see that other video of that, that girl on the beach? I don't know how old she was, but the cop like was like knocking the crap out of her. He was like, he was like striking her physically. I mean, this girl was like half her size. I'll have to show wow. you. I'll have to I'll show you. This, this was a this was a little while ago. It was all over, it was all over the news. I mean, it was like, yeah, it was, I was like very disturbing. I just don't understand like why certain people feel the need to like assert themselves and assert their dominance. I mean, I guess like. Now, I'm not saying every cop gets in that field because they're power hungry, but it's safe to say that some of them do. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, and, and again, you're going to have you're yeah. going to have bad people in every profession. But like I said before, it some professions what, can't afford bad apples. You let bad people at Walmart wherever. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter where, it, wherever. You know what I mean? Any job corporation. But that comes down to training. Yeah, that comes exactly. down to strenuous, strenuous hiring process. Yeah. Yeah, you okay. know, whatever happened to whatever happened to first off, yeah, you people know, who go to beautician school have to go to beautician school longer than it takes for a police officer to get certified. Yeah, I never saw one of them restrain a child either because they were doing something in the beauty shop either. You know what I mean? And, and, and if this is too much of a difficult task, yeah. if you say we're asking, asking too much of the police to handle these types of situations, then, they then we need to come up with a different system to handle these types of situations. Yeah. Because this has happened to an autistic child before. Yeah, like we were, you know, like, and he he was he was a white child autistic, and yeah. they shot him. Yeah, and they, so your skin off. tone in, in this does not matter in yeah. the way you know, any given officer is going to respond. What him. I see from this is if it's a difficult situation, yeah. and I don't know what to do, force is the only thing that I'm comfortable with. Oh yeah, well, that's, why? That's a good question. You know, I guess that's it's like the the instant reaction. You know, they did studies to show it was weird. They did. I watched this thing one time where they were like, basically, like they did studies to show like officers drawing their guns and how much faster they draw a gun on a white suspect as opposed to a black suspect. And the weird thing about it was even the black the black officers drew their gun to same on the black suspect, which was twice as which was faster than the white suspect. They they were quick more quick to go for their piece. You know, because it's it's even it's been ingrained in police culture, I think, and I think that that is now. You know, it's like reaping what the you sow. The new socially accepted norm, like unfortunately. Reaping what you sow, as they say. You know, we plant certain seeds, you know, and, 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 and hope that seeds will grow, you know, and like, but it's like, but if it's only, but if blood is in the soil, what are you going to get? You know what I mean? What, what kind of fruit is that tree going to bear? You know, like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not, eventually you're going to have to, <laughs> you're going to have to deal with the consequences of these things. I mean, you can't just, you can't go on like this. This can't. You, it, it, it can't, and, it, and it's, it's, it's a really sad thing to see, you know, like black people are, are more at risk of having a negative interaction with the police. No That's not to say that white people don't have negative interactions sure. with the police. So then again, I would say, okay, well, what does the outline say? Yeah. I'm not sure if it was, uh. 2017 or 2018 yeah. um but they had calculated all the police shootings and killings yeah. and the police had shot and killed 1400 people that year um and i'm sure oh yeah there were justified shootings in that but yeah. of that how many were not justified and then the question becomes one why were so many people killed yep. if the shooting was not justified and two if the shooter was not justified, how many people with qualified immunity were just able to just be fired and let go from their job yeah. and still walk the streets after taking the life of somebody else? Oh yeah. So and I don't and I don't care what skin color you are. No. You get shot and killed by the police. You're not coming back. Yeah. There's no there's no coming back from that. Yeah. You know, it's just it, it it's literally what it is, a death sentence. So oh, yeah. 1400 people were killed. We'll say the police did a great job. And only 300 people died 
because a cop was 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 oh well I wasn't sure what was gonna happen instead of assessing the situation properly. That's yeah. still three hundred too many. That's what I don't get though, is like why is it always like a kill shot? You know, like in Germany they train their police officers to go for the legs, to go for other areas where they can just dis like disarming is more the the goal, you know what I mean, as opposed to I just don't understand why it's like it's like you know what I mean. Like we've had we have more officer related deaths in this country. I swear to God, and like unless I mean besides like the certain corrupt nations. I mean obviously Mexico, Dominican Republic. I mean the the police are very corrupt over there, but I mean they are here as well. But it's just I don't understand why that's the that's always like you know they're always like so quick to just like you know the lethal option right away. You know what I mean? They're just like bam. You know like it's just I don't know. You know what I mean? We need to train officers. They're trying to neutralize the threat. They, you know, and to, and then to an extent, I get that. They got a leg. You know? They got a knee. But at some but point, I'm... you got to, uh -huh. at some point, at some point, we have to come up with a different way. It's... We can't keep doing the same thing, thinking things are going to get better when they, when they never seem to get better. It's not working. I mean, obviously, it's not, it's not getting, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, what we're doing is not, it's not making it better. And it's not working. I mean. And like you said, the mayor's only course of action. Yeah. Was to suspend them because she couldn't take a harsh, harsher yeah. punishment. Yeah. I mean, bruh. You just pepper sprayed a nine year old. Any decent human being knows that that's wrong. She's a child. Yeah. She's nine years old. And you, and you know pepper sprayed her. Yeah, you know she's getting paid too, like we were talking about. I mean, that always. Yeah. Nine times out of 10, when they get suspended, it's like suspension with pay after you committed this, this, this egregious act. You know, and it's just like, how the hell is that? Like, you get rewarded for. You know, like, I, I don't know. There's something there. I, I don't know. I don't well, I mean, know. What, but what's going through your, what's going through your mind? Like, and if you, if you, are, if you are a police officer, feel yeah. free to, feel free to comment. Let's have a conversation. Educate yeah. me if I'm completely wrong in that scenario. Well, I mean, but if it was you with a nine-year-old and you get called yeah. to help this nine-year-old, yeah. would you then turn around and pepper spray her because she's kicking, screaming for her dad? Or would you say, wow, this child is really scared. Let yeah. me see what I can do to calm her down and befriend her and be on her side so we can de-escalate the situation and see what kind of help we can get this poor child. Because she was fortunate. Other kids have been shot by the cops. You know what I mean? Like, it's shot dead. You know what I mean? Like, sir, I mean, kids, like, you know, like, it's, it's, I, I don't know. There's, <laughs> there's no, there's no reason, like, that that could ever be, you know, like, the right response, you know, whether child, like, shooting a child. You know, I just, I can't even comprehend that. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just... You know, there's no it's, it's just it's a really sad thing to see. Yeah, it's just you know, no we should be, be we should be better than that as a society by now. Yeah. Like we were saying, unless your life's in imminent danger. You know it, I mean? it's it, it really and like most men grow up knowing, you know, you protect women and children. Yeah. Okay, that's just that's just that's just part of our upbringing. Where was the where was the protection of that poor nine year old child? So it's no surprise that there's a protest going on right now. Yeah. And they're not burning down the cities. They overturned the police barricade and they're yeah. there. It's like a hundred people yeah. protesting. Well, what do you expect? What What do you expect? Do you I want? mean, you, know? you clearly aren't protecting. We call you for help. You pepper spray our, our children. You know what I'm saying? I mean, well, we got, if you're not gonna protect, you know? we need to show you that we're gonna protect our yeah. children. Somebody's gotta do so, something. And then it's going to turn into, oh man, well it's always about always about race. Well, she happens to be black, and you pepper sprayed her in the face. Yeah. Would you have done the same thing for Sally Joe? Yeah. Who you know, most of the time probably not. But like you said, there are extensive circumstances. You know, like that one kid. But it's like most so. Educate me. Like if you if yeah. you were if you've been in a similar situation yeah. to this, what did you do? How did you de-escalate it? Or why did you have to, why did you have to do this? Yeah. You know, and I'm willing to bet that I think all of America will yeah. say that this is wrong. Oh yeah. Except for the except for the people who are in trouble, they're obviously going to try to justify this any way that they can. Yeah. So that they don't get oh well, you know you weren't there and she was kicking me. She's nine. She's nine. She's nine. You can't handle a kid. You're a cop. I mean, are you kidding me? Like I said, you shouldn't be a cop. I mean, if that's you know, you, 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 you know, you know what I mean. Like, like it's just, and you shouldn't have to handle her anyway. She's a child. You know what I mean? You're just she's a child, and she's screaming for her father. Like she should, yeah. So that's where she should be. You know, with her parents, or you know, she shouldn't be like, 
and kids. She's being, I mean, she's being removed from the home though for, for a mental break though. Like, honestly, like, would you leave her in the home even if she kept saying she wanted to be there? No, you can't. You got to take her out of the home. True. See, I don't know. But you don't, uh, you don't drag her. You no. don't, you don't handcuff her because she doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, if you got to pick her up, then you got to pick her up. Yeah. You know, I mean, the but they should have and, and if you say you handcuffed her, you had to handcuff yeah. her, which I think is a little egregious. But if you say there was no other way, I had to handcuff her. Okay, she's a handcuffed nine-year-old. At what point do we need to now pepper spray her? I know. I mean, she's already restrained, you know. It's like, it, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's just, I, I don't know. It just People came up with all kinds of excuses for what happened to George Floyd. Yeah. They took his character and they said, well, he shouldn't have did this. and He shouldn't have did that. He didn't do anything, though. Like, he did some things in the past, but, like, yes, but he was trying to make amends for those things. I mean, I feel. But if you look at the parallel between George Floyd and this child, yeah. the only reason that this child is basically still alive is because of, of what had happened to George Floyd. I'm going there with that. The media attention, like the we whirlwind of people going, going completely crazy, yeah. probably made this officer think twice about literally slamming this girl down to the ground. Who knows what could have happened? Thank God, I mean, that's... But <laughs> it's, 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 <sighs> it's a terrible thing to see. And regardless of what you may feel about George Floyd, Nobody deserves to die in police custody. Yeah, in public. If the police are called to help, it should not be a death sentence. Yeah. yeah. Regardless of if you think they're wrong, regardless if you think they're criminals, yeah. regardless of what you may think, whatever happened to yeah. innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, exactly. And it is the police officer's job to get you to court <laughs> so you can either be exonerated or convicted by your peers. Exactly. You know, and it shouldn't be a, any, a death sentence with like spectators, nonetheless. You know, a death, right? A death sentence with cameras, with people looking. You know what I mean? Like, think about that. You know what I mean? That's it, just so on the sidewalk. You know, like in the street, and like just you know, just like like like, what the fuck? Like I just don't. so it, it just it honestly makes me wonder about this this child. I mean, you can see the footage where there's like six six officers there. There's a black officer there. There's a lady officer there. Exactly. There's 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 Caucasian officers there. You got a you got a good mix of everybody and genders. Oh yeah. So while the lady is pepper spraying this child, nobody else is saying, "Hey, what are you doing? Why are you doing that?" Nobody's <laughs> yeah. nobody's defending this child. That's good policing. Is that what Rochester thinks is good policing? Is that what America policing? Good question. It is you know, and again, not all cops are terrible, but it it is getting harder and harder to believe yeah. that there are great cops out there when it's constantly these kinds of things. Yeah, because we literally just got over George Floyd. Yeah, because the good cops. Then don't... Daniel Prude happened. Yeah, in Rochester. In Rochester. Yeah. Like a, you know. Then like... Breonna Taylor happened. Yeah, I mean it's it's deplorable. Now we got this nine year old being pepper sprayed. Yeah. You know, and then if you look at go back to the to the to the riots at the Capitol and all these people getting their charges and stuff like that, they're posting bail and they're able. Uh, Jenny Cutt is one of the ones that stormed, and the reason I remember that name because I was reading today, and not only did she make bail, she the one with the private jet. Uh, yes, she owns a flower shop. Oh God! Not only did she make bail, um, she is now allowed to go on vacation um, to Mexico. <laughs> because the trip was already paid for. Oh, okay. So it's such a huge discrepancy in our judicial system. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out how, how you yeah. can go to Mexico, but we're gonna pepper spray a nine year old. What, what? Not to say that I'm like wishing death on anybody, but back in the day, you know what I mean? If people had committed treason like that, I guess the United States of America, do you know what happens to people who commit treason? Like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it, it, it's usually a death sentence. At least back then it was. They they shoot you dead right there. I mean, you know, like it's like I, I don't know. I'm not I'm like. But you kind of you kind of you kind of got to be you kind of got to be prepared for the possibility yeah. of. Yeah, like I'm I not, mean, if they had showed up in force, maybe that would have deterred them from doing that in the first place. 
maybe they just do. just a thought i, I mean I, I i don't know anything i'm just i'm, I'm a nobody yeah not to but common not... sense tells me yeah that maybe if there was a presence maybe these things wouldn't happen so so getting back getting back to the topic at hand yeah, yeah. um with this nine-year-old <laughs> yeah these are the kinds of things that lead to these kinds of things yeah. when, when when you pepper spray a nine-year-old yeah don't expect the world to be quiet Seriously. Black, white, yellow, brown, red, blue, green. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, like you were just saying about this woman with the private jet. I mean, look at this shit. Like, she's like, you know, she's going down. She's going on vacation to Mexico. None of these people got pepper sprayed or like hardly at all. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, they, and like, but this little girl is like in the, in slammed to the, you know, in this car. You know, it's like, you see the differences in the behavior. You know what I mean? Like you see like three officers for a little girl. I don't, I don't know how many officers there were for her, but I think there was like three. There were a total of six officers. Come on. Um, there were two officers handling her at all times until she got to the vehicle. Yeah. Once she was in the vehicle, um, she was at this point she was already handcuffed. She wouldn't um, comply. Yeah. Whatever that means from a oh, child. Yeah. Okay. And because of that, they pepper sprayed her. And you could hear the other officer saying, "Well, at this point, you might as well just pepper spray her." What do you mean at this point? What does that mean? She's a scared child screaming for her father yeah she's having a mental break dealing with a mental health issue if that was your child how would you want your child to be treated yeah so yeah. either you didn't view her as a child you viewed her less than yeah or yeah. you just you just you, you 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 just have no empathy you have no compassion yeah just another suspect you know now Think of all the damage that's done. Oh God, <laughs> she's already especially got for the good officers trying to repair a relationship with the community. But think, I mean, she's this little girl's already got issues. Think about the issues she's going to have now with like PTSD. Or think about her children's children. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And she's they're gonna, not going to trust the police because she's going to teach them that this is what's going to happen if you if you call the police Legit. this is what's gonna happen you're right that's in generations and that's how yeah you're right man that's God. it doesn't nothing changes i don't even think they you know and they're like they just like i just don't you know the whole freaking you know and it's just just with everything that we need like you think about it i mean even just with wars in the world everything you know like we're just like we just keep it the machine just keeps moving we just don't you know i just don't understand humans sometimes man shouldn't we love each other are we supposed to be isn't this supposed to be a brotherhood of man isn't this supposed to be like more like what is what is going on Why? but do we push that narrative or do we push division you're right do we push material do you're we right. like what 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 is it that we push yeah you know and if all we ever push is Oh, I have this and you don't have that, so you're a nobody because I have this, then I'm gonna be more focused on having. I, I would be more focused on being a have than a have not. You're right. And if I'm trying to be a have, then I don't have time to care about how you feel. Exactly. I don't have time to be kind to you. Yeah. I'm trying to get mine before you yeah. get yours. Trying to get paid, trying to get mine. Yeah, I totally you know that you know, these days. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with making money. There's nothing wrong with having a business. True. There's nothing wrong with doing any of those things, but you, but you still have to have values. You still have to have a moral compass. Yeah, you should get back to, you know, your, you should get back to where you, you're, it's where you come from and where like, you should try to build, you know, like, like we're trying to build something, you know, you should try to build something and give back to like, like we want give to back. give back, you know, like seriously, something like more, you know, like, build this, build a center, yeah. you know, teach kids, teach young men without fathers, how to tie a tie basic things that they're going to, they're going to need exactly. to know how to do, like help them do those kinds of things, give yeah. back in that regard, yeah. you know, instead of being so bent yeah. on, Oh, you know, I just want to ride around and this, that, and the third, you, if you yeah. earned your money and you're a millionaire. I'm not hating on that. Oh yeah. I'm not hating. I'm not hating on wealth at all. Oh yeah. What I'm saying is one money's not everything. Exactly. There two how we treat people because of money is not everything, but yet that's what we focus on. True. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, you know, I want to be up there because I can get away with everything. No, 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 it shouldn't be that way. Yeah. It's be, wow, they got a lot of money. Wow, they got a lot of responsibility. Yeah, because it's like, are you a good person? What are you doing with that money? 
are you giving, you know, again, that goes just what we just said, you know, about giving back, you know what I mean? It's like, what are you like, what are you doing, you know, for your community? What are you, are you like trying to like make a better world, have a legacy? Are you, what do you, what, try, you know, I don't know. There's just, you know, what do you want? And, that, and that's just, and that's just your inner moral compass. Yeah. As a police officer, you volunteer to have integrity. You volunteer like, yeah. to be the, to be the moral guide. So when you're pepper spraying a nine-year-old, you're setting the tone for for people saying, okay, well, if the if the police officer yeah. is corrupt, if the police union is corrupt, yeah. well, my moral guide's gonna be leaning this way because I definitely don't trust that. So yeah. let me see if I go in a different direction. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I and mean, that's I mean, you know me, I've got a mistrust. I've got a little I mean, but I've had my runnings. You know, but again, I could never equate my experience to your experience. You know what I mean? There's no, you know, there's two different, you know what I mean? There's two, like we were talking about, there's two different Americas that exist, which there shouldn't be. I mean, I think we could be better than that. I think, you know, it's just, I don't know. You know, I guess some people just, they just want to, they, they need something to hate. You know, I was just watching this thing with this thing with Stan Lee and he was like, he's, he was always about that, like X-Men, like all these various creations that he made. and mm-hmm. really great black superheroes like black panther and falcon and he was like you know it's like if you know people that didn't have different skin color maybe the blondes you know the, the blondes wouldn't like the wouldn't like the, the the brunettes you know and maybe the redheads would be ostracized or something like that it's like people they seem to need to hate or to like exclude or like have some kind of like you know what i mean it's like it's just so like such a strange thing because it's easier to point out somebody else's flaws than your own yes you know it's easier to be like, well, well, I may be this way, but at least I'm not that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, seriously, you know, and it's just, I don't know. <laughs> but but when that when that rhetoric becomes, you know, when it spills over into the action of pepper spraying a nine year old yeah, child, yeah. What 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 are you, what are you doing? How do you not see your actions as, well, she was kicking me. That's what she she, she she would she wouldn't comply with what I was telling her. I kept telling her to stop, and she wouldn't. She's a child. Yeah, that's what people say when we need like mental health workers to go to certain situations. Like it's like when they say defund the police, they don't mean like take all their money. Like we said, just like certain th- certain things they don't need, like our armor, like armored vehicles, and certain things they don't reallocate need. those funds for reallocate. better training. Reallocate, and not defund. Reallocate. We should yes, that's- like like. Yeah, we should start. Yes, I said def- I said defund in the last video. Yeah. I was talking about cutting some of cutting some of the budget. Reallocating is the actual word I meant. I That's do apologize right. about that. But That's you need to reallocate those funds. They need better training. Yeah, we're gonna they need better training. education. They need to go through 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 psychological tests often. There's nothing wrong with that. They see terrible things. Exactly. So maybe we need to make sure that they're still fit for duty and can still serve compassionately and be a moral guide. Oh, yeah. versus sending them out there and then we hire so many um veterans yeah a lot of whom have come from from war thank yeah. you for your service oh yeah but we should still make sure that they're they're able to still serve definitely you know and 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 not dealing with traumatic experiences themselves still yeah because they themselves probably have ptsd from situations i mean soldiers or police officers just being police officers you know i mean my grandfather was in world war ii you know and like I mean, <laughs> it's a heavy burden to bear. Yeah. Right. You know, so it's not a knock on them. Yeah. We should give them the tools necessary to succeed. Yeah. And if, if the taxpayers are the one footing the bill, well, then they don't need that tank. They don't need that extra armor piercing SWAT vehicle. Yeah. How about that extra three weeks of, of training for de-escalating a situation, yeah. you yeah. know, or that extra time in class to learn laws. You know how many police officers get in the base with the First Amendment audit people just yeah. because they don't know their basic laws? Yeah, that's, I mean, with it in my glove box in my car, I keep, I have a copy of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights that I keep my registration in, just in case, you know, because when I pull my registration out, it'd be like, just, you know, just, just so you know, I know my rights, you know, just in case you decide to, you know what I mean? I've always just thought that, I mean, it's, I think it's a good idea for everybody to know. And, but you're right. They should know it too, though. You know what I mean? They should know the bill of, they should know the constitution. They should know the bill of rights. They should know what they, the country that they're supporting, defending, working for the citizens they represent. And like you said, we were talking about the, knowing the citizens in, the, in their own communities, 
which but is are but do they get to know the citizen do they get to know the law or are they still learning how to fight the war on drugs that's this the- made up war yeah like that that's that's drugs are obviously bad obviously they are but my question then also becomes we had a war on marijuana which is now illegal which definitely affected the black community as far as going to jail yeah. now it's legal you want to charge one hundred fifty thousand dollars for people to get into the industry but yet all the caucasian folks who primarily yep. drug of choice is cocaine and pills yeah. that's just an epidemic and we need to have methadone clinics so we can we can take back our youth and get them healthy again yeah which is that's, an epidemic but yeah, nobody. That's just, it's just it's hypocrisy. Yeah, but nobody cared in the '80s when like crack was like exploding, you know, in the black communities, you know, and in the '90s and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And like nobody, ever, nobody was like, "Oh, we got to do something." Like, you know what I mean? It's just like you're exactly you're absolutely right about that. You know, and the the, the like the um, I don't know the word I'm looking for. The discrepancies. Are, that's not the word I'm looking for. But like in the marijuana industry, as far as like white owners and like the amount, like it's it's still happening. You got to pay to play. People are, being, but people are being excluded. But it's like, but it's still though. It's like there's, there's not as much opportunity, and there's, you know what I mean. Like it's, it's still. I just, you know, it's just, you know, we should. I don't know. For me, I just don't understand. Maybe I'm just because I, I'm a compa- I mean, I feel like I'm a compassionate person. Obviously, there's a side of me that's a little. But hard. that's why it's so important for us to make sure but, that our officers, yeah, you know, feel the same. Seriously, when you discharge your duties, you're saying, not only not only am I going to enforce the law, mm-hmm. I also remember that I'm not above the law. Exactly. And so I'm going to treat every situation with as much weight, as much decency and compassion as I can. Exactly. And the way they treated that nine-year-old child. Yeah. I still can't get past the fact, the child. Yeah. Like the, way I- they, the, the way they treated that nine-year-old child. Yeah. who was already having a mental breakdown, who was already going through a traumatic experience oh, yeah. as if she was just this, this thing yeah. that was unworthy to be hugged, yeah. unworthy to be told that she was loved. Yeah. This was your opportunity to make a connection and to really bring somebody out of a dark place. And instead you, t- you chose to compound yeah. their traumatic experience with yeah. more negative energy and you have scarred them for life oh yeah no question now if you disagree with me i mean that that's fine i, I would think yeah. that you're a terrible human being but I you mean, know you, yeah. you, you you can disagree with me if, if you want to you know, um right and if you do disagree with me and you have legitimate reasons for disagreeing with me yeah, let's then let's have a conversation yeah, let's have a conversation about it. educate me educate me on the facts of the matter yeah. that you know it as to why you believe what you believe and i promise i will listen put it in the comments below yeah um let me know but i would love to just uh, let's have a conversation or if you do agree if you think that a nine-year-old child should not have been pepper sprayed after yeah. being handcuffed while we'll- going through a mental m- mental break yeah comment below let me let me know that as well you know, we really want to hear, hear from, hear from you. Oh, yeah. um, as always, we appreciate the support. Oh yeah. Sure. We appreciate you tuning in to Mike Dup. Yeah. Um, Check us out on Instagram. Yeah. To listen to the podcast on YouTube. Yeah. It, we're, we're, we're we're everywhere, and we really do appreciate the support from the bottom of our hearts. Yeah, um, sure. We ask that you continue to 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 log in, like, oh, yeah. hit the subscribe button, share with everybody. Check um, me SoundCloud, Sly Rider Profit, you know. Sly Rider Profit in the building, Gibbs and Gibbs. In the building. Yeah. Let's let's have a conversation. Yeah. Seriously. And if there's anything, if there's anything you guys want to talk about, yeah. let us know in the comments below and we'll be more than happy to talk about it. Um, but yeah. until next time, stay tuned in and mic'd up.